Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and on this one I'm going to be showing you the best Lycanroc build for raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This one is going to be the Dusk Farm, which is going to be the most difficult one to get, but it's going to be worth it. Let's start off with how to actually get it. What you want to do is at the top of the map there'll be a time of day. The one that you see right now will be the Dusk time of day, but it only lasts 6 minutes, so you need to be quick when doing this. So how it works is the morning lasts 6 minutes, the day lasts 30 minutes, Dusk lasts 6 minutes, and then night lasts 30 minutes so what you want to do then is you want to come over to north province area one and then we're just going to look around this area and eventually we will run into a dusk farm like and rock it is quite rare now if you do have to then i would say activate a sandwich for rock types then you will find it a lot quicker because you only have six minutes to actually find it now there is a second way you can actually do this. Let me show you how right now. So what you want to do is you want to put a waypoint right here and then you want to fly over to Medali West and make your way over. Now, as you can see on the map right now, it's already switched to night. We didn't get long at all. Now what you want to do is you just want to make your way over to this waypoint. I'll see you when we're there. Now, once you climb the cliff and you come in this area, we're looking for the terrestrialized Pokemon. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and catch it. So as far as I'm aware, this is the only rock rough on the actual map that has own tempo as its ability and the only way to get a lycan rock dust farm other than catching it from where we showed you earlier is evolving a rock rough that has the ability own tempo whenever it's the time of day of dusk so you want to damage the rock rough a bit so its terror comes off and then you want to catch it now as you can see the ability of my rock rough that i just caught is own tempo this is the one you want to be looking for now you can manipulate the time of day by saving the game and then quitting your game down. So I'm going to go ahead, say an hour because I've just gone past dusk. So as you can see, it is now a daytime. I would recommend skipping in four or five minutes once you reach daytime because dusk only lasts for six minutes. And if you miss it, you're going to have to go around the whole day again. So if you have your own temple rock rough, what I would recommend doing, if you don't need the lichen rock straight away, but you do want to build it, then just keep the rock rough in your party. And when the sky turns orange, orange or you see that the time of day is dusk i'm at night time right now then you just want to go in your party and level it up past level 20 and it will evolve now the only bad thing is it will be a psychic type terror so what you want to do is go in your map come over to medali east and fly over there once you're over here you're going to want to come this way and then you're going to want to go in this restaurant right here come to the top of the restaurant and this person right here behind the counter will change your terror type in return for 50 shards so you will need 50 rock type shards to convert your rock roof now that we've gone over everything you need to do to actually catch it we're going to be holding the item loaded dice now to get the loaded dice you're going to want to come over to lavincia north once you're over in lavincia north we're going to be heading over this way to the actual deli bird shop go inside there and then we're going to be clicking battle items and if you scroll down a little bit you should find the loaded dice it's twenty thousand poker dollars go ahead and buy that so if we use a move that hits multiple times rock blast for example instead of hitting two to five times it will hit four to five times so it's guaranteed to do at least a hundred damage do so you want to equip that onto your lycan rock now that you've put your loaded dice onto your lycan rock when you come out of this deli bird shop just turn right we're going to be going straight forward to this shop right here it's the transit supply shop black and green and you want to scroll down until you find the mints and we're going to be buying an adamant mint which is up an attack down in special attack we are a physical attacker so this will benefit us a lot now now our EVs are going to go into HP and attack. You're going to want to make sure you have at least five max IVs as well. We don't need max IVs in special attack because we don't use special attack. Now, if you don't know where to get max IVs, just come to any deli bird shop. Click on general goods and you can buy bottle caps for 20,000 poker dollars each. Each bottle cap is equivalent to one perfect IV. So you're going to want to buy some of them. You'll only need five for lichen rock. Once you have your five bottle caps, come over here to Montenegro. Once you're here, I want you to come over here to the guy with the abomber snow speak to him he will hyper train your pokemon pick your lycan rock and then choose bottle caps and then you want to click hp attack defense special defense and speed hyper training special attack would just be a waste of money now onto the reason we actually went to all this trouble to get the dust farm lycan rock it's his ability which is tough claws this powers up moves that make direct contact by 30 percent so our attacks are going to be 30 percent stronger if they're physical attacks so it's going to be a quite a powerful attacker now our moves are going to be rock blast sword stance iron defense and taunt so rock blast
Blast is going to be our main attacking move. It will hit four to five times because of our item. So it will do 100 power or 125 power. Very strong move. Now, Sword Stance is going to be how we're going to power up. This will raise our attack stat by two stages. Iron Defense is a more of a defensive move. Now, if we're against a physical attacker, we can use Iron Defense first. This will raise our defense by the two stages and we will take a lot less damage. Now, we have Tarn in case they have something to put us to sleep or something like that that wouldn't be good because if we get put to sleep before we use rock blast well lycan rock isn't the most defensive pokemon as you can see so we just want to get them strong attacks off as quick as possible now tarn is the only move that we will actually learn through level up unfortunately so we will have to use tms to get rock blast sword stance and iron defense so to get tms you're gonna need to come to any pokemon center and it will be the green section right here the tm machine now we're gonna go over where to get tm 88 sword stance first you will need 5000 lp free zangoose claws free gibble scales and free cypher claws let me show you where to get these so to get your zangoose you're gonna want to come right here on the map so i'm gonna fly over to the shrine and make my way up there so when you get to the top of this cliff right here the zangoose will start to spawn so you just want to keep your eyes out for a zangoose so our zangoose didn't show up after about five minutes so we just made a sandwich to speed things up and then you're going to take your zangoose out and get your zangoose claw Next up is the Gibble Scales, so you're going to want to fly over to Alpha Nada. Once you're here, you just want to go straight forward this way. And we're going to be going to the cave. Once you get to the cave, we're just going to be slowly making our way down until we see a Gibble or a Gabite. So we're just following this path right here. Once you get to the bottom, just keep following it until you reach an exit. Now you can get a bit unlucky and not reach one by the time you get to the end here. So what you want to do is you just want to run halfway down and then turn around and everything will despawn and you can go back up to the top. So we've run into a pack of Gibbles with a Gabite right there. So we're just going to take them out and then we can get our Gibble scales. Now for the Cypher, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be flying flying over to Kathraya Watchtower number one. Now once you're here, have a quick look around to see if there's any cipher. I doubt there will be up here. There isn't, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump down on the lake side. I think there was a cipher right there that we just missed. So we're just gonna be looking around this area right here until we find a cipher. There's one, you'll find the cipher pretty much straight away in most cases, and then you just wanna take it out so you can get your cipher claw. So next up is TM76 Rock Blast. We will need 3000 LP, free Nackley Salt, and free Tutel Claws. So to get our Tutel, we're gonna come to this small island over here, so fly over to East Province Area Free rest stop and once you land on this island if you look in the water around it you should be able to find your tutel so you just want to run into them if you don't have a water type and then you want to take out the tutel and you will get your tutel claws and as for your nakli we're going to be heading over to south province area free and then we're just going to be looking around in this location until we find one there's one right there. So we're just gonna take that out and we will get our Nackley Salt. Now onto the last move, a TM 104, Iron Defense. We will need 1,500 LP, three Bronzer Fragments and three Pinaco Husks. Let me show you where to get them. So to get our Pinaco Husk, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be coming over to the top left corner. I'm gonna put a waypoint right here and then I'm gonna fly over to Gracia Stones. And then we're just gonna be climbing this wall right here. Now, once you climb the wall, we're gonna be heading in this direction, following the path until we see a bit of water and when you run into the bit of water a foratrus will spawn there i don't have a water type so i can't attack them so i'm just going to run into them and then i'm going to use rock blast on them to take them out and that's how we're going to get our pinnacle husks now as for our bronzers what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to these ruins in the desert right here so fly over to asado desert watchtower and we're going to be running over to the ruins you'll be able to spot them straight away and once you get to the ruins there should be some that start spawning you just want to look around for them there's one right there so we're just going to take that out and that will get us our bronzer fragments so now that we've gone over the full build let's get into some raids so we found our first five star raid it's an ice type weavile let's see how it goes so this weavile has taunt reflect and sword stance i think so we're gonna have to play it smart here we're gonna taunt the weavile for it can taunt us get ready for this the ultimate play can't use taunt after taunt best play and now we can use sword stance see what we did there you'll never see another play like it so now it's using facade we're going to use another sword stance now we're on plus four attack it does use ice punch it does have double stab on it because of the terror 
Still not doing that much damage though. And then it steals some of our terror charge, that's fine. But it does use reflect just as we was about to attack. So we're gonna use another sword stance just because it uses its reflect. Heracro I like that Heracross. Heracross has just used Brick Break and the actual reflect break. So now it's no longer got it. It steals our terror charge again. Removes negative effects from itself. It's not bringing up its shield for some reason. I mean, I'm not complaining. We can just finish it off nice and easy now. We only needed two shots from the Rock Blast. Does a lot of damage as you can see and the weavile goes down that was the most satisfying raid i've ever done we love out taunting a taunter well on to the second raid so for our second raid we have an ice type five star sylveon let's begin so i'm not sure what moves this thing will have but i'm guessing it has calm mind and yawn and i don't want to deal with that so we're just going to start off with taunt oh it did try to use yawn so good job i used taunt uh, now we're going to use swords dance raise that attack by two stages it's paralyzed so it can't move that's great we'll have a good dun dun spas and then we use swords dance again so now we're on plus four attack it uses moon blast so it uses moon blast and then hyper voice back to back and then it uses calm mind it just used three moves without us being able to even move once that's crazy i'm gonna use rock blast here because if that happens again we're in quite a bit of trouble let's see how many times it hits if it hits five times then that's amazing come on that's four right so it only hit four times but it is in the red now so that's perfect and then it uses terror blast how much damage will this do will this kill me we're on 16 health and then it steals some of our terror charge which is not good now this sylveon probably has pixelate that's why it's doing so much damage nullifies all the stat changes on our side that's terrible and then removes negative effects from itself it's just using everything three attacks in a row nullifies everything steals our terror charge can't catch a break we're going to use rock blast before we go down doesn't make a difference how many times this hits it hits four times not doing any damage because uh, the shield is up and then it finishes us off so now that we're back we're not gonna set up we're just gonna use rock blast i'm hoping that it does use yawn here because we can finish it next turn and i don't know how powerful its moves are gonna be we do hit five times there oh no we don't four times i miscounted so it uses moon blast how powerful this is gonna be about half damage that's fine i thought we could terror but i forgot that it stole some of our charge we're gonna use rock blast again and see what we can do if it hits five times i think we kill was that five times it does hit five times and the last hit was the kill and then it uses yarn before it goes down that's fine and then the sylveon goes down then pixelate sylveons can be so dangerous sometimes i'm glad it didn't get to set up anymore but that's the second raid over with let's get on to the third raid we found our third five star raid it's a flying type zoroark let's see how it goes so it's quite safe to say this thing has a taunt so we're gonna use taunt i think that's my new favorite thing to do taunt people who are trying to taunt us oh it didn't taunt us interesting and then we're gonna use iron defense because this is a physical attacker our first one of the day it uses night days and, and our accuracy falls that's not good and then we use sword stance it's paralyzed and it couldn't move it nullifies the stats on our side that's terrible so it probably won't do that again soon so we're going to use sword stance raise that attack by two stages it uses night days again reducing our accuracy we're going to use rock blast to see if we actually hit we do end up hitting i think if we hit five times here the raid's over we do get a crit on our second hit which is amazing hit three times we hit four times and we hit five times so the raid's over even though it got rid of all our stats that raid went amazingly for zoroark now if you love a cool looking pokemon i suggest you go out and make this build it's very fun to use speaking of fun go check out this chen pal build that i'm going to put on screen right now that's also very fun to use and you can actually one hit a lot of raids with it and i'll catch you on the next one